Hello everyone, welcome back to Draw with Guy. So this week I'm going to show you how to draw this very bad bear from the book Fabulous Pie, written by Gareth Edwards. And uh, this bear is very bad because he bakes. There's his oven, there's his oven. He's just baked a huge flaky pie crust. He's got a very wicked plan to get a filling for his pie. So he asks all his forest friends, there's a squirrel and lots of others, an otter, to help him get a filling for his pie. But he has a very wicked plan and I'm not going to tell you what that plan is. But I am going to show you how to draw the bear. Bears are great fun to draw. Because they're a bit big and shaggy. So... Let's start off with the eyes as usual. Now he's going to have this sort of frown because he's quite bad. So we're going to do a big frowny eyebrow for his eyes. And we're going to do a sort of squashed circles for his eyes. One there, one about there. He's going to be looking to this side, I think. It's very important to get the expression right. Slight frown there. And we're going to draw the rest of his body. His nose is going to stick out here line there, his nose straight across, and then he's going to have a big black shiny nose, sort of that shaped, it's going to go across the top, like that, two nostrils like that, and just come down underneath the curved line front of his mouth, like that, and we're going to give him a sort of cheeky wicked grin, curling up at the end, Colour this in now, nice and nice dark black there. That'll do. Doesn't have to be too exact. Now, yes, I mean usually just use a pencil for this. I'm using this brush pen. That's because the line shows up quite nicely for this sort of thing. It's a bit darker. And the good thing about bears is you can just make them really shaggy as you draw them. Let's put them an ear in there. Once so you've got the main bits in, an ear there. Now we can just mess around with his body. You can do lots of shaggy fur. I'm going to do his shoulders coming out. He's sort of slopey shouldered, this bear. Shoulders going to come out quite a bit there. Give him a big fat tummy here. And we'll do more of these lines later. Let's have his arm coming down about in the middle under his ear. Starting quite low down. Let's do two lines next to each other like that coming towards and then one, two, three, Curled fingers, now let's draw some claws in there. Little sharp triangles. There we are. Now the back's going to come round like this. You can only you can't see his other hand because it's behind on his other side. It's quite a big fat bear, this one. It's greedy, I expect. And one foot coming down like this. Hairs on there. Another foot just next to it. Hair like that. Now we can just have a lot of fun with the fur for bear. Just go all over doing lines coming down quite loosely. Sort of following, see them sort of following the line of his body a bit. Then you can do a few curly whirly ones. He's quite a shaggy bear, this one. They're quite hairy, aren't they? Lots of fur. A few squiggly lines. Quite a shaggy bear, this one. Right, there, and a few going down his arm. There we are. There's a few, few hairs coming up here. Some longer hair, just make it show, make the hairs look quite long and shaggy. A few longer ones coming out at the edges. There we are. Yeah, he's looking, he's beginning to look more bear-like, isn't he? There we are. Now, I'm just going to give him a squiggly shadow. A little bit of shadow there, a little bit there, a little bit under his chin. Do a loose squiggly line for his shadow. We can put a bit of shadow in there as well. Some more, a few more hairs coming down here. Hairy bear. And there we have a very bad... Oh! Let's give him a, make him look a little bit bad, give him a tooth there. There we have a very bad bear, 
fabulous pie. Now, you don't have to do this next bit. You can just watch if you're, if it's a little bit too difficult. I'm just going to show you older children or mums and dads might like to see how I do the backgrounds and things. So there he is standing there. Now, you know, I like to put a bit of grass in his outside. And also anyone who knows me knows that I love more than anything else mushrooms. So I always put a mushroom in if I can. And there are lots of mushrooms in this book. This is a fly agaric. So those red and white ones. Fun to draw. And the Belita sedulis here. Which are big, they're called also called the penny bun. Like that, the big rounded ones. I love drawing, I love mushrooms. Show you some uh, grass around it as well. And a few dots to show it's the earth. Maybe a leaf in the ground. And actually put some trees in the background. Just to show, because he's in the wood in this. He's in the forest, isn't it? Deep in the forest where the trees meet the sky, I think it starts. So I'll show you how I draw trees. Let's do, do the trunks coming down. Nice big fat tree trunk, nice loose sparky line. And it's going to go out at the bottom as it expands a little bit into the roots. And the roots come down, just like branches going into the earth. Tiny branch branching out. And that's where they meet the earth. Let's draw a fern here. Some more grass. They're looking a bit like a tree. And some bark, just do some squiggles on it for bark. There, and that's looking a bit more like the tree like, isn't it? Maybe a bit of shading in there. A bit of shading under those as well. Under that leaf. Let's do a few more trees going back into the background just to show there are lots of trees here. And this goes in that as well. And as they go into the background, they can get thinner and higher up to show they're going further away. Draw some bush bushes behind this one. Maybe a bit of a tree growing out. And the lines get thinner. And just to show it is in the forest, we have some leaves coming down from the top as well. Just a few. Some branches that the leaves on. This does suggest that there's trees up there. Oak leaves, which are wiggly lines like that, coming in, curling around. I like doing oak leaves because they're all wobbly like that. Let's do another one coming this way. One going that way. Some other leaves here. There we are. And there we have, let's so we'll do a bit more grass just to check going back. There we have a very bad bear, up to no good, in the forest. I'd love to see your bears. So if you post your drawings, add, oops, got that wrong, draw with guy, hashtag, then I'll be able to see them and they're posted. Don't put the G in there, it's just with Guy. Well done, you're an artist. See you next time.